Hey guys, so today is my first YouTube video. Um, I've just been recently watching all my favorite YouTubers and their videos and all the makeup they use and I'm just falling in love and I just want to do it myself and just see if I can kind of help out some people or um, give them different ideas on makeup looks and just stuff I create and stuff like that. Um, today's makeup look is off of the new Kathleen Light's um, Where Is It Night? One of her colors from ColourPop. It is magnificent. Magnificent. And so I'm going to be doing that. And if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I will be doing new videos. Um, I don't know how often, but pretty often I want to get to at least do one maybe once a week. That would be awesome. That's my goal. But anyways, if you want to know how to get this look, then keep on watching. Okay, first I'm going to go in with my Nivea Men um, Plenishing Pulse Balm Primer. I'll put it all over my face and I'll rub it until it gets really tacky. All over. It's starting to feel tacky. And now I'm going to go in with my Makeup Forever Step 1 Primer. And this one pretty much just like smooths and fills in your pores really well. So I'm just going to do it in my problem areas I guess right here. And on my nose. I love the way this feels. It's so smooth. Okay. So today for foundation, I'm going to be using a combo of two of my favorites that I've been wearing for a while now. It's Born This Way, um, Too Faced, and the Matte Poreless. I'm in the number 130. Okay, I'm just going to mix the two. And then I'm going to be going with my Latex Free UV Blender. And doing it all over the face. I'm gonna go a little down on my neck because I'm not very tan. Super pasty today. <laughs> like so. Okay, and for concealer, my new favorite concealer thanks to Jaclyn Hill is the Naked Skin um, Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer and I'm in the I'm in the shade light and neutral and so I'm just going to go conceal with this in all the places that you want the light to hit you and it look just lighter. And then I'll go back in with the other side of my beauty blender and blend this in. And continue to blend this in. Okay, so now I am going to set my concealer and all over face. Um, I have a little tester of this Makeup Forever, Forever Professional um, High Definition Powder. It is amazing. I love it. It's translucent too, so you can just put it over any of your makeup, either just your under eyes or all over, and it works perfect. I'm going in with the Coastal Scents number no. 5 brush. Just, I like that it has the little point right here. So you can really get in between your nose and your little eye area. So I'm setting my under eyes really well so it won't crease. And then I'm just going to kind of go in and set everywhere else. Okay, 
So I'm going to be going in with my MAC Soft Over Ochre Paint Pot. <laughs> ochre. I'm putting it all over my eye. And I have some redness like in my crease, so this just completely like makes it all one shade. And gets rid of any flaws. It's my favorite primer. And I'm using my finger. Um because the warmth from it, it just really blends it in really well. I'm gonna be basing this um, eye look off of the Kathleen Lights um, Where Is The Night? new uh, Super Super Shock Shadow Collection and the color Weenie is my favorite. Oh my gosh, it's so gross. So, <laughs> it's so gross. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. It's like this rose gold um, color. It's fabulous. Okay. So now that I have my base, I'm going to go in with my with my mattifying powder and put it all over the lid with this um, Real Techniques Deluxe Crease Brush. I just like it because it's really big and fluffy. And I'm just going to put that everywhere so there's a base for my shadow to blend really well with. Put that all over. This shadow is crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to be going in with my favorite, um, it's Peach Smoothie by Makeup Geek. If you haven't tried their eyeshadows either, they are amazing. And then I'm going in with the BH Cosmetics 101 brush. It's just super fluffy and putting that all over my crease area. Like so. And key is blending. You really won't even see this color in the end, but it's just a really good first one to build up on your all your other colors. Okay. It's Deep Skin by Makeup Geek as well. Most all of these are gonna be Makeup Geek and then with the Kathleen Lights um color pop color. So, I'm going to be using a 103BH Cosmetics and deep skin and just put it into my crease area. And blend that. I'm going to kind of be bringing the eyeshadow out for as like a wing because I am going to do a wing liner. So I want my eyeshadow to be in the shape of a wing if that makes sense. Okay and now I'm going to be going in with Makeup Geek's Mocha. I'll turn it the other way. <laughs> there we go. And using, well, here we go. My Morphe M321 brush. And I'm just really going to build up my crease, my, to make a cut crease. And I'm just going to put that, place that in my crease and then just kind of blend that in like so. And then I'm going to kind of bring it down on the lid to give it a little smoky effect. I'm just going to be taking um, back my 101 brush with the previous um, peach smoothie and just blending that color out really well. 
You can also do this if you don't have anything on your brush. If you have a clean brush and you just want to blend out your dark shades. And just fluff and blend that out. Okay. Now I'm going to be going in with... This is Americano by Makeup Geek. It's just a really pretty dark brown, but it has like a tint of red to it-ish. Or that's what I've seen. More kind of plum, not... Okay, I'm just going to shut up. But anyways, I'm going to be going in with my M321 again. And just building the outer crease a little darker. So I'm giving it the effect that I have a really cut crease. Like to deepen the crease area. Okay, so I'm just going to go back in with my fluffy brush and blend the dark out on the edges. Okay, and I think I want it a little bit darker, so I'm just going to go back in with that same shade and just add a little bit of color to the outside. like so okay so now i'm gonna go in with the weenie color let me open this and show you fabulous and i'm gonna apply with my finger because i feel like it goes on so much better with your finger and just to my lid oh the color is so pretty Okay, once I have this all over my lid, I'm going to go back with my uh, just a little bit bigger brush. This is a 103 um, and use that same Americano and go back and kind of deepening my crease a little bit just so there's that color on the outside and you don't see any of the weenie on. <laughs> on the anywhere else but the lid if that makes sense and then i'm just gonna go with the peach smoothie and my fluffy blending brush and blend that all out to blend you want to use not only wind um windshield wiper motions but also move in circles so it gets the color distributed everywhere okay so now for liner I'm going to be using um, the NYC I guess this is just their liquid liner but it's my favorite it's so smooth and so black and it's got a really fine tip that you can really draw like a good I don't know if you can see that butt wing with but then I'm just gonna go in and start my wing. And if you haven't mastered the wing yet, then you can always um, do the tape trick and you can put the piece of tape um, right here and then just do your liner like so. For my under eye, I'm going to go in with just um, a little brush. It's my Morphe 432 brush and it's just got a flatter little tiny little definer brush. And I'm going to go in with the um, Americano 
right under and it might look messy but you're just gonna blend it out you're just gonna put that right up in your where your lashes meet and it could be a little messy because you're just gonna go in and blend it out anyway Oops. Okay. And then I'm gonna go in with the M321 brush from Morphe, and it's just a, a, pen, a pencil brush, and I'm gonna go in with that deep skin that I used on the crease and just blend that out. And I'm not going all the way in, I'm just kind of stopping a little more than halfway, but you don't want to put and like it'll make your eyes look really small if you go all the way in with the dark colors. Okay, so I blended that out and I'm just going to go back and get it really um, deepen the color a little bit more with the Americano and the definer brush. Okay, and now I'm gonna go back in with the Weenie ColourPop and my Morphe E36 brush and put that on my inner corners. Like so. And there we go. And now I'm going to pop on some lashes. And these are my Numi lashes in Russian white. Well, first, I guess I should put on some mascara. Um, I'm going to curl my lashes and then put on some mascara. And I'm going to be using the um, L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. That's my favorite mask drugstore mascara. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. This is really. Blends in nice with the lashes. This mascara. Okay, I'm gonna pop these bad boys on off camera and I will be right back. Okay, and to continue, I'm just gonna be putting mascara on my bottom lashes. go in um, with a highlighter and just a little pencil, pencil brush and highlight um, my brow bone after I do my eyebrows. Well, okay, here we go. We'll cut that out. Okay, and for my eyebrows, I'm going to be going in with the uh, Gimme Brow, Gimme Brow by Benefit. And this is in the color for dark or medium deep. And I'm just gonna be, um, it's like a gelish um, gel with little fibers that I'm just gonna be brushing on my eyebrows to keep them in place because I have really dark eyebrows in the first place. Some, sometimes, excuse me, I will fill them in, but sometimes I really don't need to. And I'll just do that so they'll keep their place and stay intact like so and then I'm going to be going in with a highlighter and just popping a little highlight shimmer on this brow bone just to give it a little pop 
and highlight right there. Okay, so now for the fun part. I am going to be going in with one of my favorite bronzers. I love it. It's the NYC uh, Smoothing Skin Bronzer or Bronzing Face Powder. It is so pretty. I'm going to be using the Dome Brush by Jane Ardell and just warming up my face and my cheeks. Just warming up this area. And up here, and my dimples. Like so. And I'll go in on my jawline. Warm that up. I don't really like to contour my jawline, but I will use bronzer on it just to warm it up a little bit. Okay. So now for contour, I'm going to be going in with the um, Beyond Mat HD Mattifying Powder by Jane Ardell in the color dark. And if I can find it. I'm going to go in with my Morphe 459 brush. This is my favorite contouring brush, if you can see it. It's just so wonderful for contouring. And I'm going to be going like this. This is kind of like the Ida or Ida brush from NARS, but it's a little thicker. And I just really like it. like so and I'm going to contour a little bit up here and then I will go in with my um, BH 103 brush for my contour on my nose and I'm just going to sculpt it out And do the two lines. To make a slimmer nose effect. And then I do the bottom. And then I just put dustly, I mean lightly dust a line right here. And it'll give your nose a more slimmer look. Ooh, I'm looking slim. <laughs> okay. I might contour a little bit on this jaw just a tad okay. and then from all my um what is it called <laughs> eyeshadow fallout i'm just gonna go back in and add um i guess they call it baking your under eye and i'm gonna carve out my contour as well too much powder okay so I love this brush also the 459 for baking as well well maybe. oh and for sorry I didn't even tell you I'm going in for baking with my um, beyond matte translucent mattifying powder. It's in translucent and so it doesn't, it just gives it a baking effect. Mm -hmm. Okay, wonderful. Okay, so while my I'm cooking myself, I'm going to be going in with oh, I'm gonna put I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Paris um extra intense liquid pencil in my waterline. Maybe. It's pretty dull. Here we go. Okay, and for lips, I'm going to be using 
um, the color Spice Lip Pencils by Jane Iredell Cosmetics as well. And lining my lips. I've never really like overdrawn my lips to make them look bigger, but I will try that sometime. I just don't think it would look the best on me. <laughs> and I'm going to be using the ColourPop Ultra Matte Lip in Stingray. It is so pretty. Actually, that's not the one I wanted to use, was it? Maybe it was. Yeah, I guess it was. <laughs> Like so. I love the way these dry. They dry to such a matte finish. And it's so nice. Okay. So now that I'm all cooked, I'm just going to go in with my brush and dust that downward. So you don't blend it into your... And it's really cut. Oh yeah. And now for blush, I'm going to go in with my professional brush. Um, this is the BH Cosmetics just palette. And... There we go. And I'm going to be going in with this color right here. I'm not sure what it's called. Well, this one. <laughs> with my brush, just to dust that on my cheeks. Okay, and for my favorite part, I will be going in with the Becca Hill Champagne Pop and Becca, this way, highlighters are fabulous. If you don't know who Jaclyn Hill is, you need to go to YouTube right now. Well, after my video, <laughs> go to her, look up Jaclyn Hill and watch some of her videos. She is queen. And I'm just going to pop, I'm going to mix the two, um, the Champagne Pop and curl and use it for a highlight. Actually, I want my, I want it to be extra, so I'm going to spray my brush with some Max Fix Plus. Oh, and I'm using uh, the Real Techniques contour brush for my highlights. I just really like it. And then I'm going to go back and put this highlighter on. Can you see it? Mm-hmm. Ooh, girl. And on the tip of my nose. And then on my cupid's bow. I guess I should have done that before my lips, but. Whew. And. Like so. And now I'm just going to be spraying my face with the um, Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray. I'm all done. Okay, guys, and this is the final look. I just went and fixed my hair a little bit. I just took it down and um, touched up a few places, and this is what I got. So if you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for sticking with me. We'll see you next time.